The water levels drastically rose a fortnight ago, following heavy rains received in the four northern regions. This has caused extensive flooding to many households and businesses, both in urban and rural areas. Pashakati's informal settlements and the town's new extensions, where the hardest hit resulting in the relocation of more than 1,000 people to higher grounds. Senior hydrologist for the Kovelae Tosha Basin, Leonard Hango, says despite the decline in water levels, most rural areas are still inaccessible and more schools could close as a result of additional inflow of surface water from neighboring Angola. As of today morning, we have received a communique from the Angolan Authority, uh, the Civil Protection Unit in the Kunene province of southern Angola, that there's a flood wave on its way to the border. Now, this flood wave, the public doesn't need to get panic. The flood wave will only be detrimental if it has coincided with the high rainfall intensity in the area. However, if no rain is received, the impact will be of less uh, to the communities. However, he called on residents in both urban and rural areas to be on alert at all times in order to ensure that they are safe in case of any eventualities that might occur. The regional disaster risk management bodies need to be prepared together with the local authorities for any eventuality that might arise. He further warned the public not to attempt crossing the rising streams to avoid drowning, which has seen close to 20 people having lost their lives since the beginning of this year's rainy season. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Oshakati.